Okay, another little illustration when it concerns the pivot. It's simply we just take, I've got a little, okay, a little white pipe. And we, uh, you got to understand when you bend over to the ball, see now we're in our angle of address. And this is a wonderful way to show your body how to turn in the golf swing. So we're going to take this and we're going to turn and just aim that right at the ball, just like so. Boom. Now you can see when I take it back, my left side actually shortens to where my shoulders can go underneath my chin. And we're right here, right there. Boom. Same little motion with the bottom of our spine. So we shift, shift. Now what you don't want to do, and what a lot of amateurs have a tendency to do, is when they take it away, they sure don't want to lengthen that left side like so. You can see it's real amplified when you see this pipe right here. But see, we never want to do this. We want to do that. Boom, boom. And that'll give you a real even measurement. See, this allows you to swing on the angle of address, not the angle of the horizon. Major coaching point right there. So when, once we incline over the ball, then we must turn down and like so. But this will give you a wonderful illustration on how the pivot works in the golf swing. You know, if I had two drills, and that's all I could have in golf swing, teaching someone, it'd be these two, three, hitting the ball with your left hand and hitting it with your right hand. And what I want to do today is just show you, it's a left arm drill and a right arm drill. Just take the club, grip it like we do, and then you, you put the hand in the position that you have it uh, <clears throat> in your setup, and we bend back down the ball, and you practice. It takes a while to build up enough strength and coordination to do this, but it's just simply a one arm drill with your left arm, just like so. And it's unbelievable what that'll teach you in your golf swing. Now, let me hit one more with my left arm, and I want to do the same thing again with my right. But just simply, now you have to move your body slow. See, it's not like my arm is doing all this. My body is moving my arms, not my arm moving my body or coming apart from it. So you have to do it very slow and very coordinated. We're going to take it back. Boom. And go through it just like so. And that's what it looks like with your left arm. Set up just like we do with the right arm and do it real slow. Go right through it just like such. But if you can get to where you can do that, I guarantee you, you'll have enough strength to hit a lot of great golf shots. One arm drill review. Grip the club in the same position as a normal grip with the right or left hand. Make sure the body moves the arms. Don't let the arm move independently. Use slow feeling body movements. One thing that I think will really free you up is understanding what the golf swing plane is. And in our swing, what we teach is a rotating plane as opposed to a fixed plane. Now, what I've done here is we've got our golf ball, and I've put a little pipe here where you can kind of see a line that represents our, our target line. But, and we've got a little hula hoop here. Now, once I take this hula hoop and I bend over, that it basically is cutting right through the ball, right through the base of my neck. And that would be the plane, is which, which would be set up at what we call an impact. Now, we teach what we call a rotating plane. And the reason that we do that, just imagine that if I painted a little circle around your chest, is see that circle doesn't remain constant. Once I turn back, see this plane, it moves back with me. So when, I, when I'm going back, see the plane actually goes back like with my chest. So this is what I'd look like almost at the top of my golf swing as I, as I took it back. Now, as I come back to the plane, because my chest is rotating, is see that the plane would also rotate back to the impact position and then we'd be right here and then it would rotate to the left. I feel that a lot of people and a lot of pitchers have been misrepresented is what happened is they leave this plane in the same position as they turn, they continue to try to take the golf club down the plane that was set on at the angle of address. Where I actually see it moves back, back to it, and then through. And if you can, you can see is if I took a golf club and we took it back and I just visualized that plane as I set up to this golf ball is if I continued to try to take it, take it out that way, see my body would be turning back and I'd be going that way. And it'll do one of two things. You'll either create like a little bit of reverse weight shift this way or in order to try to keep the, keep the club going back on that same plane, you'll move your head off the ball. 
This way, the rotating plane is very natural because that's what happens. It moves back to the inside, back to the ball, and around and through. And when you do that, see, you can release it. Once you pick your arms up and stick them way out here, see, it's separated from your body. So just remember, it's not a fixed plane. See, it rotates back, rotates through, and then back on around. And this is what it looks like when you hit this golf shot. We're set up, and I, I'm just real free as my chest turns back right through the shot. But it'll really free you up as opposed to making the club go this way and that way. Concerning the force that we try to do with the golf swing, the application of it, it needs to be done in what we call a supple motion. It's, we're not trying to create rigid slowness, we're trying to create a supple motion. And, and the golf swing, you know, like if you get tense, if your grip gets tight or you're standing there and you, you're real, real rigid, what happens is everything works into you like this and it slows down. What we want in the golf swing is, is basically a supple motion. If, if I took this club and someone's on the end of it and we just had a big tug of war going forward and backwards, see that force, that straight line force, there's really not one of those in the golf swing. You know, if that was the case, then the strongest guy in the world would be the best player. What we're trying to do is create speed. We want to try to create speed in the golf swing. So that's done with a very supple, controlled, relaxed motion. Watch the best swingers in the world. You know, they're not, uh, uh. I mean, it, it's a very, very, golf swing's one of the most beautiful actions in the whole world when it's done correctly. But we want to try to create speed. I once saw uh, Art Sellinger do a clinic and he took a match and he snapped it. See, that requires speed. It's kind of a snap mm -hmm. of the hands and the wrist and blending that body together. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it, but just watch this motion. There's nothing, you know, really forced about it. It's a relaxed, in control action that will produce the best shots. But see, even in my setup, see, I feel like somebody just painted me in here. They didn't bolt me in there. But see, very relaxed position. Boom. And once you're relaxed, see, your body can transfer your weight if you're tight, see, you'll pop up off that ball. But just remember, get you a good thought when you get set up that golf ball, and if, even if the last one is just be relaxed and create an easy motion as you go through it. When it concerns the sequence of the golf swing, I don't believe in club first, hand, so on and so forth. I believe that the hands and the body all move together. It all works at once. Because if you start trying to separate one movement, you'll spend the rest of your life in the mumble shit. Same thing on the way down. I do, on the way down, as far as you know, what, what goes first, is I do think that my first move feels kind of like twofold. My left heel's going down, my right heel's going up, and that allows my my, my stomach or my center of gravity to move first. I like to feel like my swing is like a ground up swing. Concerning the hand action is my hands is once I get them, you know, once we set them and, and cock them, I don't feel that they actually uncock or what uncocks them is when they hit the ball, then my hands are released. I don't do it literally until the impact position. So real simple little deal. Everything moves, hands, body, everything moves back together uh, all at once and when you go through the shot, See, my first move is pick, pick, left heel goes down, right heel comes up, and we shift over, and then just pow. As your hands hit the ball, that releases the hands through the shot. Up until now, we've just been kind of talking about the how part of the golf swing, but what I want to talk about now is the tempo part. I want to give you a, a little kind of word picture or an image that will really help your golf swing. Our golf swing is usually done on like a two-second count, 1,001, 1,002, back swing, four swing. But it's, I want you to think of the golf swing as like a dance step. And what I want you to do is just kind of imagine that you've got your wife or your girlfriend. We'll just pretend like this is her for right now. She's not too good looking right here. 
but basically what we're going to do is we're going to do almost like a little slow dance and as you notice when you're dancing like so with your partner your arms and your back and your hips are all in synchronization that way you can move in a real coordinated fashion but what happens in, especially in golf and sometimes hopefully not on the dance floor is if I speed up or double or even triple the force of speed of my arms you can see that you would throw your partner across the dance room floor and what happens in the golf swing when your arms become detached from your body then you literally lose, lose out on the bottom joints and the, and the most powerful part of your golf swing. See, in the golf swing, we're, we're, we're moving it. The body actually feels like it's moving a little bit slower than it actually does. But, but what happens is, is, see, this looks like fast. But see, if I do that, look where the power source is in relationship to the golf swing. We want our arms not to be moving independently from our body, but we want our arms as we come back here. See, what happens is, see, now this stomach, hip, and back, see, advance the arms where we're hitting it off the side of the body, not the front of the body. That's a huge, huge problem, especially as people get older or someone's tremendously strong, they want to start it from the upper body. We're doing it from the ground up. So just imagine you're dead. But see, that, that motion right there is a real coordinated motion. It may look a little bit slower, but it's much more powerful as we go through that shot. So just a little coaching point, and it's a wonderful, wonderful tempo thought as you play you know your golf you always need to be trying to swing the golf club a little bit slower than you think especially under pressure situations things you think you're doing normal you actually do a little bit faster